after yet another hot inflation report this morning and what has been a choppy week for stocks. Our next guest sees rising odds of a potential correction brewing in the charts. Joining us now is John Kolobis, Chief Technical Market Strategist at Macro Risk Advisors. John, uh, it's good to talk to you. I you know, started off by talking about how this market has actually you know, been pretty tough in the face of some excuses to go down. Market kind of recovered that Tuesday drop. But I guess we haven't really cleared the old highs. So are we bumping up against the ceiling? What's your read on it? Yeah, uh, great to be on, Mike. Yeah, I would say the market is setting itself up to transition into a bit of a trading range environment. Uh, when I go through all my different indicators and, and, and quant work, yeah, I think the market's going to be stalling out approximately around 5,100. You take your thumb, put it on the chart, 5,100 is or so will be with the ceiling. And downside risk to about 4,700, maybe 46 to the downside. So I think we're entering into a bit of a training range environment. And would it be the... Um the same profile in terms of what led the pullback? Um, I mean, I, I know you'd want to emphasize the, the relatively strong parts of the market, probably. Yeah. But what does that mean right now when there's at least been the stirrings of, uh, of some broadening out away from the, the mega cap growth area? Yeah, that's a fair point. I think we need to remember that we're operating with two different types of markets. We have the S&P 500 and we have the market of stocks, right? So the S&P 500 being driven by the MAG 7 frothy for sure needs to consolidate it's pretty hot out there right now with those typical with those stocks the decline i would assume listen would have to have to come from some of those names but outside of a paradigm shift i can't imagine anything more than just a mere correction or pullback you know to like i said to the 4700 and maybe 4600 level uh given that uh, but beneath the surface mike i'm telling you like things aren't as bad as i think most people are making it out to see you mean that um, the market hasn't been as narrow as, as people have portrayed, or, or, or what do you mean by yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. So I think one distinction we need to make, particularly those who follow the charts like I do, is that the momentum of breath has slowed, like the percentage of stocks above moving averages and how many stocks are making new highs. Yes, those have declined over recent weeks, but the trend of breath remains positive. So if take a look at the RSP, the equal weighted S&P 500. That just broke out out of a, about a four-week, five-week trading range yesterday. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty healthy to me. And even small caps, they, they really tried to break it down, and they couldn't. So one way I've been framing it with clients at MRA is this. like, Can't breath take a breather, too? And I think that's essentially what's been going on. There's been, there was a lot of good technical goodwill at the end of last year. I don't think we've negated that quite yet. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I, I, I'm definitely in that camp of saying just because you can – tabulate how much of the upside has come from a few stocks doesn't mean the rest of the stocks have been poor or, you know, or, or losing the benefit of the doubt necessarily. Right. It's kind of like I remember at some point along the way in high school, they allowed you to have more than a four, uh, you know, GPA, you know, and, yeah. and the other stocks were getting B pluses, even if they weren't, you know, the, the, the best students. Um, I guess the question is within the market. Uh, what looks interesting at this point in terms of, sure. you know, emerging leadership or things to stay away yeah. from? Yeah, fair, fair point, right? We already know what's working. We're already focused on the shiny object, which is the MAG-7. So what, what, what's improving? Energy has caught my eye as of late. Take a look at WTI. It looks like a nice little base formation that's forming there. You get WTI above 80, then I think the rest of energy is going to follow. Refiners have been great, but now I think the rest of energy could, could benefit from that. So I think it's a good source of chart diversification in one's portfolio. So start sniffing around the energy sector. The other part that I've been focusing on has been within healthcare. And it's not just Lilly that looks good. It's like the biotechs and some of the other pharmas. Uh, take a look at the, uh, the healthcare ETF. That just broke out of a, what, 18-month trading range? That projects about 20% higher on the charts. A lot of good, interesting names there. So that's where I think some of the fresher money could be. Look at energy, you know, dip your toes in energy as oil stabilizes. And it also healthcare looks pretty decent.